Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a cool looking signature like this one uh, without using a graphics tablet. So I'm going to be using purely just the mouse and the keyboard to make something like this. I know I'm not the best at signatures, they are something I need to work on. But hopefully I can I can show you guys this technique and it's something that you guys can um, perhaps maybe are better than me at, which is probably likely. So yeah, let's get into this. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly move this to the top just so we don't mess around with that anymore. We're going to make a new layer. This is an illustrator by the way. You um, you can't do this in Photoshop because the tools that we're going to be using are only in Illustrator. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to use your pen tool and we're going to just draw a line uh, that is going to be our, um, that's that to form our letters basically. We're just going to use our regular pen tool to make our letters uh, make sure that the stroke is on one. Well, this doesn't really matter, but it is probably better if you start it on one. And then you're going to go over to here, and this is called the width tool. You could use Shift and W to um, to select the tool, or you could just come over here, and yeah. And but all you need to do is basically click on the line and drag outwards. This allows you to make the line thicker in a certain area. Basically, what pen pressure would do with um with a graphics tablet. So if the lower you click on the line, then the lower the thickness will go. You can do it right in the middle and then it'll go thin to, to thick to thin again. Or you can literally do that anywhere. You can decide where you want the thickness of the line to be. And that's basically what we're gonna be doing throughout the whole entirety of the lettering. So yeah, that's basically how you can do that. You can move around the, um, what you've made, well you can move around the path just by using the mouse tool up there and we can edit the anchor points by using the direct selection tool which is the one next to the selection tool up there as well so to edit the, uh, the anchor points you need to use the tool and then click on the path and then click on the anchor point that you'll want to edit and you can literally move it anywhere and yeah th this is something that you can't really do on graphics tablets because if you use graphic tablets and use pen pressure then it just makes it makes a whole bunch of, uh, of anchor points and you can't edit them just because it would just look really weird and it would take too long if you want to do it well. So yeah, so we're just going to form our letters just by using our pen tool. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a B. So we're just going to go back to our th a line thickness tool and just going to make it bigger. And yeah, just like that. Sometimes if the curve is too big, you get splits up like that and um, you'll have to you basically have to do the thickness tool on all those little pieces, uh, all those little pieces. So to fix that, you just do try and do less of um, of an angle as possible, or you just do add multiple points. Like here, I just added another point than what I did before, and now we're just going to use our tool again. And there we go. We can edit the whole line uh, without uh, separating it into little pieces. And yeah, so that's the top part of a B. Again, we can edit it just by using our our other tools, which are our selection tool and our our direct selection tool. Make that a bit bigger. And if we want, we could press Control C and Control V to duplicate it and use that as a lower piece. I suppose that doesn't look too bad. But if you want to go for that originality look, or you want each piece to look original um, or different, you could just redo it. Um, just it probably look better if you just redo each piece instead of duplicating it because then it, it does you can kind of notice it and yeah it doesn't kind of it just kind of doesn't give you the effect you want so we're just gonna add another point in there just so we don't have to separate the two paths like we had to before so yeah like that and then we're gonna use our width tool just to expand the line and there we go that's basically a B and um, so yeah, you can do all kinds of letters, obviously, it's whatever you use in the pen tool and all down to your creativity, really. Uh, we can make the end, the start of this this line down here go into that one, just so that it kind of merges all into one. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. You guys can do this for yourselves. Tweet me all the things that you've made from this. And yeah, I'll be sure to check them out as well. So yeah, so you can just keep continuing to do that. If you want to do a dot on the end, all you need to do is do a dot with your pen tool. Uh, well, just do a circle, I mean, using your pen tool. And then instead of using the width tool, you just use a stroke and increase the stroke. And there we go, we have a little dot there. And yeah, so you can make some pretty cool stuff with this. Like I said before, you can tweet me with what you make. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Check out my other videos if you haven't already. And if you enjoy them, subscribe. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video.
for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video.